Welcome back to another dose of Red Dead Redemption 2. Even though this game was released almost 4 years ago now, people are still discovering things today. I've put together a list for you guys of things that I myself have only recently discovered. This includes secret clothing, hidden scenes, alternate ways of completing missions and just things that you may not have known you could do. Please bear in mind that there will be potential spoilers ahead so you have been warned. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, you're watching Facts with Philby, episode 14, and here we go with Red Dead Redemption 2 secrets I discovered in 2022. Let's kick things off with some secret clothing. Did you know there is a hidden denim scout jacket in the game? As far as I'm aware, you cannot purchase this item in stores, it can only be triggered during a secret side mission quest given to us by the gang's cook, Pearson. This mission is available from the minute we arrive in Horseshoe Overlook. From what I can figure out, Arthur has to have a very low health core right in the red zone before we can trigger this. And you have to catch Pearson while he's drunk and at his kitchen. He will comment that Arthur is looking a little peaky and request that if you bring him a rabbit, he will whip you up some of his special soup. Simple enough. Head out on the hunt and catch yourself a rabbit. I'm pretty sure the quality of the pelt doesn't matter, but I try to capture a perfect pelt just to make sure. Take this back to Pearson by delivering it to his table as you normally would, and mission complete. Now you have a denim scout jacket delivered to your wardrobe. As you probably know, as either Arthur or John, you can go see a performance show in the city of Saint Denis. One of these acts is a stuntman called Benjamin Lazarus, who during his performance requests a member of the audience to come up and assist. Now normally there's a guy who will volunteer, but did you realise that you could beat him to the punch? Yes, that participant could be you. Make sure you're near the front of the stage when the stuntman puts forward the request and just interact. He will then ask you to shoot him. This will be the outcome. Hey Kay! And fire! Early on in the game, Herr Strauss, the gang's long shark, asks Arthur to chase up a debtor who hasn't returned his payment so far. This gentleman is a Polish immigrant who goes by the name of Robel and lives up on a farm area known as Painted Sky. One thing you will notice about this mission is Robel's English is very limited. Now in a previous video, I had covered how to get an understanding of what he is saying by simply turning on the subtitles, but did you know that this isn't the only time that this character appears in a mission? Fast forward years later to when we are playing as John in a quest called A Quick Favour for an Old Friend. Now working as a bounty hunter, alongside Sadie Adler, we are tasked with capturing an outlaw named Ramon Cortez who was last seen around the area of Painted Sky. Sadie tells you to search the barn while she covers the house, but the hidden scene here is that if you follow her into the house, you will find that Robel still lives there and has been tied to a chair by the fugitive. It's here. In this scene, you will notice just how much his English has improved. Cortez, have you seen him? He's in the barn. Did I tell you? It's the barn. bester has been here for days. <clears throat> Do your worst to him. Are you sure he ain't in here? If he was in here, you'd know. Take a look. Josiah Trelawney, a man who is an associate of the Vandalin gang, frequently pops in and out from time to time, mostly providing the gang with useful information. He mentions at one point that there's talk of super agents, or some such, that are rumoured to be on the hunt for Arthur and his friends. Later on, in a mission titled Magicians for Sport, Dutch tells Arthur to check on Trelawney and to find out if he has any more information on these bounty hunters. Upon arriving at his caravan, with Charles in tow, we soon discover that there has been foul play and Josiah is missing. Now on his trail, Arthur and Charles come across a campsite hosted by two men. Now normally, Arthur will confront these men and question them on Trelawney's whereabouts, which then turns into a fist fight. But did you know that there is a hidden cutscene you can trigger just before this point? If you shoot either one of the men, preferably from a bit of a distance, the other guy will beg for his life before giving up the information. Jeb! No. Wait, now, ah, where were we? Where's my friend, buddy? I, I, Come on, speak! He, he, hey, hey, no! No, he's, he's in a cabin, down by Braithwaite Manor. 
near the cornfield. Thank you. Charles, come on. During one of the side missions in Saint Denis, we meet a religious man named Brother Dawkins, who after a brief conversation, asks us to check out a local pawnbroker who he suspects is doing more than just selling trinkets. When entering the store, and after a bit of snooping around, with some intimidation tactics, we find out that the store is being used as a front to transport slaves. Upon rescuing the poor souls, we are tasked with returning them to Brother Dawkins. But did you know that before leaving the shop, you can interact with the cash register, which will trigger a small scene in which Arthur will give the stolen money to the slaves. It's a small detail, but a nice little nod to Arthur's good side. After the gang has arrived at the second camp location in Clements Point, one of the missions we take on is called Further Questions of Female Suffrage. In this mission, we break up an argument between Pearson and Sadie Adler. After a brief chit chat with Sadie, Arthur agrees to take her to the local town of Rhodes on a simple errand run. Upon arriving, Sadie is tasked with grocery shopping while Arthur states he is going to check the mail. But instead of heading straight to the post office, if you follow Sadie inside the store, it will trigger a hidden scene. This is something that I know a lot of people have missed. So I need potatoes, carrots, onions, flour, oats, salt, eggs, apples if you got them. Sure, not a problem. When free roaming, you may come across this lady in distress. The horse that the lady was riding has collapsed and now trapped her underneath. She quickly requests the aid of Arthur, whom after helping her, will often take her home, normally to the nearest town. Now, if you want to play the bad guy, did you know that you don't just have to ignore her and ride away? You can choose to stay, antagonize the lady, if you wish, and watch her attempt to struggle herself to freedom. Eventually she will, and then will berate Arthur for his lack of compassion. In the prologue of the game, while the gang is still up in the snow-covered mountains, they learn of a train that's ripe for the pickings. After some not-so-careful planning goes wrong, and the explosives the gang were using fail to detonate, Arthur, with Lenny and Javier, give chase after the train, and attempt to jump down from a ledge to board the vehicle. Javier totally misses, but Arthur and Lenny land. Unfortunately, Lenny almost rolls over the side of the moving train, and it's at this point we are prompted to help him back up. But did you know that you don't actually have to do anything? If you leave Lenny alone to help himself, he will eventually climb back up on his own. While in Rhodes, we are introduced to two families, the Greys and the Braithwaites. These two families have had a feud with each other that no one even fully understands why anymore. Caught up in all this is somewhat of a Romeo and Juliet story between a young man named Beau Grey and his secret partner Penelope Braithwaite. Upon meeting Beau, he gives Arthur a request to deliver both a letter and a gift to his beloved. But did you know that you don't have to fully complete this? If you visit a fence, you can sell Beau's gift and make yourself a nice little $10. This, in turn, will also trigger a different cutscene when visiting Penelope. Shortly before arriving at Horseshoe Overlook, Dutch orders both Lenny and Micah to scout on ahead to see if there's any trouble. A while later, Lenny returns to camp, stating that Micah has been arrested for murder. Dutch tells Arthur to go and rescue him, and although very reluctant, he does do as he's asked. Now upon entering the town of Strawberry, located northwest of Blackwater, Arthur discovers Micah in a holding cell. He interacts with the local law, who refuse to let Arthur speak to Micah. Now most people complete this mission by either using the steam donkey located outside of the cell, or simply blow a hole in the wall to help him escape. But did you know that there is a third possible way to complete this mission? If you head back inside the sheriff's office, you can just shoot your way through the law, grab a set of keys, and head downstairs to free Micah. So guys, thank you for watching. That was Red Dead Redemption 2 Secrets I discovered in 2022. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a massive game, and no doubt there are many other things I am yet to discover. If you guys can think of any I may have missed, let me know in the comments section, and hopefully, if we have enough, we might be able to come back and make another video like this. If you enjoyed what you saw today, be sure to hit the like button and think about subscribing to the channel. Also, turn on notifications to be alert to the future content. If you feel you wish to get in touch, you can either type below or find me on social media. Links are in the video description. With that being said, thank you to those who made it to the end of today's video. This has been Facts with Philby, and I hope to see you in the next one.